Hello and welcome again to another episode of Ferris Sports Update. I'm your host, Rob Bentley, and thanks for tuning in. On today's show, we'll recap Ferris State football off to a 3-0 start with a big win this past week. We'll also check in with the Ferris State women's soccer team, which is on a hot streak, and the men's golf squad. We'll start first, though, with uh, Bulldog football, joined by assistant coach Ryan Hodges. Coach, first of all, welcome to the show. Thanks, Rob. Thanks for having me again. Really love being on the show. Obviously, uh, off to a tremendous start, 3-0, and and you've got to be pleased with the way uh, the Bulldogs have played here on both sides of the ball early on. Yeah, absolutely. Our offense is really rolling, and it makes it a little bit easier on our defense. Um, you know, we've really come out to fast starts in our first three games. We've only given up six points in the first half, and we've led by the least we've led by was like 22 at halftime. So it, it really helps getting off to a fast start. You know, we can get a lot of guys in the game, and it's it's been really good so, so far. Obviously, back-to-back -back home games to open the year, and then this past weekend, a little bit bigger test. You went on the road for the first time, and you opened conference play with a with a big win at Northwood. Yeah, it was good to, uh, you know, get a road game under our belt without having to stay the night somewhere since it was kind of close because uh, we're going up to Northern this week. That's a longer road trip. Just get guys used to the process and everything. Plus, Northwood had turf, so it was a lot better on that surface. As we go to some of the highlights of this uh, game this past weekend, obviously uh, on the defensive side of the ball, a little bit different challenge facing an offense that you, you don't see a whole lot of during the year. Yeah, it was good to uh, get that experience against a, uh, an option team, like a true option team. Um, we uh, ran a little bit of a different front against them, uh, so we worked on some three down stuff and it was really good to get that um, on film and get the reps at it and get us better. And our offense, like you can see right here, you know, Jay Rue on the play before, real comfortable in the pocket, threw a nice ball down there and uh, they get in the end zone and defensively, you know, we just had guys flying around to the ball. That's one thing that was evident that people saw. And really our, our quarterbacks and our running backs have done a nice job with the transition uh, with the coaches late, you know, right before the season started, they had to, you know, make an adjustment with new position coaches, and they've really handled that really well. So, um, and they've they've done awesome job uh, as far as leading this team. You know, you can see Jay Rue here again. He's a, he's a very competitive guy, one of the most competitive guys I've seen, and you can see it in his running. He doesn't want to go down. You know, usually you don't see that a lot in quarterbacks, and. Uh, so, and right there you can see is uh, the way he uh, approaches the game, just with a fire. That's an awesome run by uh, Portis. He, he gets a nice little spin move there. Um, so, it just it's just great to see those guys rolling. Obviously, the offense uh, continues to rack up the points, 19-3, to 3, uh, the lead here in the second quarter. And we'll be able to extend that lead uh, here shortly. But uh, we talk about the offense a lot, and they're putting up a lot of points, but the defense has really shut down the opposition uh, through three games. You know, we lost a lot of starters last year on last year's team. You know, we only returned one guy that started for us. And, um, you know, it's it's been good because the competition's been high on the defensive side of the ball. So guys are, are really working every week to, you know, keep a job and, and earn a job. And so the competition has really made us good as a whole on defense. And you can see it out there because the guys are competing, you know, on game day as well. Obviously a big uh, play right there to start the second half. Keandre Craig with the touchdown grab. And the way the offense played uh, here early on in the third quarter, a chance to play a, a lot of guys on the defensive side uh, as well in the second half. Yeah, we like to play a lot of guys anyways. And so um, it was a hot day, so it was good to not over-rep guys and be able to you know sub some guys in and, and get a lot of guys some playing experience. And you know some of the guys don't, don't realize it now, but that, that experience is so valuable to get on a game. Uh, atmosphere. We got a lot of young dudes. I got a lot of guys that they're, they're freshmen out there playing, you know, so it helps those guys to just get involved in those games early in the year. You know, we get a chance to see what they can do. They get a chance to see what college football is really like, and, you know, it's going to pay, pay dividends in the long run. Obviously, uh, some big plays defensively. This will be Northwood's only touchdown drive of the day, and got to be uh, nice uh, knowing the defense to, was able to hold Northwood under 300 yards uh, for the total contest. Yeah, it was good. You know, they, they did run the ball successfully against us at times. They had a couple big runs, uh, chunked us a little bit, but we, we really had a bend but don't break mentality. And, you know, that play they scored on was a fourth down play. Uh, we thought we'd have a chance to stop them, but um, they made a nice play there getting it out to the perimeter. Offensively, Travis Russell and a quarterback here in the, the fourth quarter. And through three games, it uh, hasn't mattered uh, what personnel has been out there offensively, they've been able to put up some points. Yeah, they didn't skip a beat when Travis went out there. They did a great job moving the ball down the field, and I think Coach said something like he had two drives and two touchdowns, so that was really impressive to see. And then it was good to see Stanley stay on top of that post route. You know, they tried a couple shots during the game, and I thought we did a pretty good job of not letting guys behind us. And you can see uh, a lot of guys to the football here on an option team. You got five guys fighting, gaining leverage. Uh, we had a few penalties late, got them down close, 
but it was good to see our defense make a stand here um, at, on, on fourth down and keep them out of the end zone, so hold them to 10 points on the day. That was really good to see. 53-10 to 10 the final scores. The Bulldogs moved to 3-0 on the year and uh, really a fast start here and one you like to see uh, here at this point of the year. Absolutely. You know, it was one of our goals. We kind of try to segment the season. Uh, Coach talked about it the other day. Um, our goal is to end this road, street, or road stand, you know, 4-0 and go into the next section of the season. So we're, we're almost there. You know, we got to go up and face Northern. A couple good friends of mine coach for that team. Uh, I know Kyle will have them ready to go. And, um, you know, just for us, it's just focusing on what we can control. You know, we, um, we got to be able to handle the road really well. Uh, it's a 4 o'clock game up there. It's their homecoming. So they'll be excited. They'll be ready to go. And as long as we handle our business, um, you know, it should be a good game for us. You talked about Coach Kyle Nystrom, the head coach at Northern Michigan, a guy you worked with uh, here at Ferris State. Uh, what, what challenges does that present knowing uh, the other side so well? I don't think it poses that many challenges. I think it's, uh, it's fun to go against your friends. Um, you know, we talked last week, and, um, you know, we talk often just about life and about football and, and all the normal stuff. You know, it'll be a little different this week. I don't know if we'll talk too much until we get there. But, um, you know, it, there's a little familiarity. You know, uh, sometimes you got to be hesitant on what you call things or how you say things so they don't get a good beat on what you're trying to do. Um, I'm, pro I'm sure they're probably thinking the same thing on their side since me and Kyle did the defense together. But it'll be fun, you know, kind of just switching up the signals and switching up what we say and how we say it. But in the end, it's football. The players have to play. You know, coaches, we can only do so much. We just got to prepare them, and they got to go out there and do the job on Saturday. Obviously, uh, you just faced a running team. They've got one of the top backs in the conference at Northern Michigan playing inside in the Superior Dome. First time Bulldogs have played inside in a, in a facility like that in a while. Yeah, uh, they're running back, man. He's a really good player. You know, um, if we can contain him, and they've got athletic quarterbacks. They've got athletic receivers on the outside as well. Um, so it's, it's a matter of us being able to stop the run, and that's what our philosophy is all the time anyway, to stop the run first and foremost. And so, um, but he's the type of player that can, if you can do everything right, and just his athleticism can make you miss. So, um, you know, we want to stop their top players and their top plays, and we'll focus on that and work on everything else after. I know, obviously, uh, along with being a coach, you're a Ferris State football alum, former player, uh, homecoming coming up on September 29th. Uh, you've got the football alumni day at the Battle at the Ballpark on October 6th, and I know uh, certainly you don't want to look ahead, but uh, a chance for those uh, former players to come back and, and see you, uh, I guess, for those two weeks. Yeah, it's always fun to see my former teammates. You know, they, they like that I'm here too because they still have a connection to Ferris State football that's really close. So, you know, and I've spent a, over a third of my life in Big Rapids, so I love it here and, and they love coming back here. So it'll be good to see them at homecoming and then, uh, you know, the ballpark. I've never coached football at a baseball stadium, so that'll be interesting. Obviously, this past weekend in Northwood, a chance for you to see one of your former players, Zach Seeler, the Baltimore Ravens, uh, in attendance at the game. What was it like seeing him uh, down on the sidelines before the contest? I mean, it was cool. It was good for Zach to be able to, you know, play early in the week so he could come home and, you know, see his brother and come see us. And the biggest thing I noticed is he looked even bigger. I don't even know how that happens. but <laughs> So I, I'm happy for him, you know. Uh, you know, it's sad to see him go. Obviously, he could have been playing for us this year, but... You know, when I talked to Zach, totally understood why he decided to go and, and you know, nothing but love for him. Well, Coach, uh, congratulations again on the 3-0 start. Best of luck as you travel to northern Michigan this weekend. Appreciate it. We'll be back with more Ferris Sports Update right after this.